Hello everyone, I am of course John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan. And we're going to do another edition of the da -da -da, Ghost Letters Report. Now for this edition we're going to be talking about nuclear power here in Japan. As many of you who have been subscribed to my channel for a long time know, I've done a lot of stuff on this, a lot of videos on this. But we haven't talked about it in a while, so let's bring up and do an update. Well, it appears that the Japan Nuclear Regulatory Agency has finally gave the okay to restart a nuclear power plant. The two reactors at Sendai Nuclear Power Plant, which are operated by Kyushu Electric Power Company. Now, this is a bit surprising to me considering the problem that Sendai plant has had. Also, the fact that this plant has not been operational for over three years. Now, it has passed the initial certification for the new so-called rigorous safety standards and equipment that the plant must have. But it doesn't mean it's going to be starting anytime soon. It still has to go through operational checks to make sure the things they put in place actually work as designed and also skip past local authorities, local officials. And as we know here in Japan, when it comes to local officials, overwhelming majority of them are really, really anti-nuclear and it's really hard to sway their opinion to convince them that a plant is safe. So don't expect this to actually be up and running anytime soon, but it is a step has been made forward. A restart this. Now with this you may be a little bit disappointed or let down, especially if you are extremely anti-nuclear and involved in the anti-nuclear movement. Let's remember something else. The Japan Nuclear Regulatory Agency has also started going through the process of choosing plants to be decommissioned permanently. Now due to the extreme high cost of trying to get the older plants in Japan up to par, which majority of the plants in Japan are 40 plus years old, and that is the cutoff limit here in Japan. They can apply for a 20 plus year extension, but it's more tight, rigorous safety standards they have to live up to to get, the, get a plant extended. Now what it looks like from experts is that up to two-thirds of the nuclear power reactors in Japan will never be turned back on. They'll be decommissioned. So these about one-third here that they're most likely looking at to actually get restarted. Now whether they'll be able to do that huh, remains to be seen. Like I said, the cost of operating these plants here in Japan overall, the, the older ones or the newer ones, are extremely high. And to get them up to these safety standards, which by the way, there is no such thing as a safe nuclear power plant, are also extremely high. And considering just how long the majority of these plants have been turned off, and a point to note is that we are approaching one year of being completely nuclear free in Japan. Yeah, no power generation done by nuclear power. Uh, normal shutdown procedures and checks shut them all down about a year ago there's been a heavy push to keep them shut off. It was a, kind of a bit of victory here. So it seems to me that very quietly nuclear power will be phased out in Japan. They really have no choice at this point, the capitalist bourgeois, but they really get rid of this. The people here in Japan don't want it. Fukushima was a wake-up call the masses here in Japan on nuclear power. And there's been an ongoing fight and battle about nuclear power in Japan ever since Fukushima started between the people and the bourgeois class, the capitalist. And it appears the people are starting to win. But is it based on some moral high ground? Is it based on logic? No. This gradual, slow phasing out is really about money. And that nuclear power is effectively not conducive to capitalism. A capitalist, in the long run, cannot make a their metaphysical endless increase in capital gain by using nuclear power. But they're stubborn, especially the ones here in Japan. We want some damn nuclear. But they can't have it, clearly. It's not working out in their favor. 
They will not admit that it's dangerous for my energy. They will not admit the social and structural cost of in society that nuclear power has caused. What all comes down to them is money. And it's, these power plants have been shut down long enough. There's been enough resistance to cost them enough damn money to force them to go through this long, arduous process of getting rid of nuclear power here. So do not be confused and think that the power class here in Japan is doing something good. They're not. It's all about money for them. But for us, the people, it's about our health, our lives, and the future of this nation. So I thought I'd do this bit report, a little update of what's going on here in Japan as far as nuclear power. If this is the first time you see me, hey, try to put a clickable link somewhere around here for you. Please subscribe. You get lots of videos like this, and from time to time, interesting surprise. So until next time, this is me, John Doe, here in Tokyo. Check it out.